Okay, so today we're going to be solving some story problems and thinking about different strategies that we can use in order to solve those problems. So far, we've talked about the strategy of counting back, using a number line, using doubles fact. Uh, we can always draw a picture. And today we're going to be using the strategy of writing a number sentence in order to solve these problems. Okay, here's our story. There are six seagulls flying over the ocean. Two of the seagulls land in the ocean. How many seagulls are still flying? So the first thing we need to do is to understand uh, the story. So if we underline the parts that we know, that will help us to understand it. We know that there are six seagulls flying over the ocean. Okay, and then we also know that two of the seagulls land in the ocean. What we want to find out, we're going to circle what we need to find out. How many seagulls are still flying? So then we need a plan. How are we going to solve this problem? Well, we're going to use a number sentence in order to solve the problem. What would the number sentence be that goes with this story? Okay, remember, um, inside the circles, we have to write these symbols of whether we're going to add or subtract. Listen to the story again and think, am I going to add or subtract? There are six seagulls flying over the ocean. Two of those seagulls land in the ocean. How many se seagulls are still flying? All right, I hope you were thinking subtraction, because that is, if we have six seagulls to start with, and two of them land in the ocean. They want to know how many were still flying. So the equals goes in this circle. Six minus two equals blank. So now we can use that counting back strategy. We're counting back two places from six. Put six in your head. What comes before six is five. And then four comes before that. So there must have been four seagulls still flying, six, five, four, counting back two. Now, check, is your answer reasonable? Explain. Well, did we subtract correctly? Is, is six minus two equal four? Well, if we, you know, may thought of an a related addition fact of four plus two equals six, yep, that's reasonable. We've got our larger number before the minus if we're subtracting. So, yep, I think we're good. All right, let's turn the page and do another one. There are 11 children building sandcastles on the beach. Three of the children go home. How many children are still building sandcastles? First, let's underline what we know. We know that there are, oops, let me get my pen. Here we go. There are 11 children building sandcastles. Okay. We know that three of the children go home. And they want us to find out how many children are still building sandcastles. Okay. So our plan, how are we going to solve this? Let's write a number sentence. Okay. And so how many children were there to start with? 11. Okay, and since we are on the, the chapter of subtraction strategies, we are going to subtract. 11 children are building sandcastles, and three of the children go home. That's subtraction, isn't it? Three of them go home. And they want to know how many are still left building sandcastles. All right, I'm going to make three lines here because we're subtracting three. I'm going to count back from 11 in order to find out how many children are still building sandcastles. Put 11 in your head and count backwards. What comes before 11 is 10, and before that is 9, and before that is 8. 11 minus 3 equals 8. Eight children were still left building sandcastles. And then check your work. Is it reasonable? Is, let's see, 8 plus 3 equal to 11. Let's see, count on from 8. 
9, 10, 11. Three spots. Yes, it is reasonable. Okay. Well, the next part, uh, again, I've put uh, these, this part of your paper, I've put it into Nearpod slides. So uh, if you click on the next slide, I'll be reading the story problems to you, and I want you to fill in the blanks. And don't forget to put your s symbols in the circles.